Right now, I'm in Balboa Pier, Balboa Beach, and I caught my first Corbina. I'm gonna show you the pictures in a few minutes or the video, but I'm about to put some sand crab right now and keep doing it. My first time catching another fish other than a freaking, uh, what do you call it, um, mackerel. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, it's very windy, very windy. And I'm throwing it past those big waves. I'm throwing it right where it looks really blue. Check this out real quick. Watch how far I'm throwing it. Just record real quick. This is how I caught the, the fish. I just forgot the name of it. Um, put a little sand crab at the bottom. Put a one ounce uh, weight on it. Just cast it out as far as I could. And the feeling of catching a fish you've never caught before is amazing. I mean, I can't describe the feeling. I'm super stoked. I'm about to measure how big it is, okay? Watch. So this is my first carbina. <laughs> Let's see how big it is. Let me see, this thing is not really bending. So it is 21, 21 exactly. 21 and a half. 21 and a half. Amazing. My first carbina. I love it. Okay, so right now, I'm taking the intestines out right now, and let's see what this fish has been eating. Look at this. Look at this right here. I think this is the one that he ate, that I fed him. Look, look at this. Look at that. Look at this right here. That's what it is, I mean, that's a lot. Let me see, is there more? No, that's it, that's the last one. I should have started from the beginning showing you guys how I started to fillet this fish, but I got um, the inside cleaned out already. Now I'm going to cut it in pieces. I'm not gonna show all the process because it's just too much. I'm just gonna show it once it's nice and cooked, all right? So I did really good at filleting the first part. I left the skin on this one. It looks pretty good, pretty, pretty beefy. This one, on the other hand, was not as good, but I decided to take the skin off on this side. It looks good, and then I took some other little pieces that I left on the fish, and I'm just gonna throw it in there and put a little bit of butter, olive oil, little salt, and see how it comes out. So right now, I'm just putting butter all over the place, everywhere, so I could get nice, Marinate it really good, really nice, all over the place. Ooh, this looks bomb already. Just want to take a bite out of it. Nice. Next step. And now I am going to put a little bit of garlic powder. 
Well, I said a little bit, but that's a, a little lot. Okay. Both sides. Okay. Both sides. And nothing is going to waste. Because my mother-in-law is going to make soup out of the rest of this beautiful fish. So we first cook it with butter. A little bit. And let it get cooked. Mm -hmm. nice. Even here, it's already like it's already getting cooked a little it bit. Good. It tastes good, huh? There you go. So here we go. Just a little bit of olive oil. There we go. And yep, it's not gonna work unless you turn on the fire. Nice. That just looks so good. Sea bass. Corbina. Now I know the names. Corbina, but in English it's sea bass. There you go. So what what did you put in there? Bell um, pepper, onion, and garlic, and tomato. And a little bit of salt. That looks good. Oh, well, this fish right here is looking good, but the one that was with the skin is whole. But the one that I took the skin off is just discombobulated. It looks pretty crazy. But we're still going to eat it. I mean, that doesn't mean we're not going to eat it. This fish, I'm about to try it right now. It looks good. It looks tasty. Let's see if I did a good seasoning process. It's really good. This is amazing. I don't want to share with anybody. <laughs> it's it's a it's um 